Hello, my wonderful Wild Fit friends. Pamela LaPointe, your wildly vibrant Wild Fit coach from my kitchen in Anchorage, Alaska. I put a um, spaghetti squash into my Instant Pot over here on the end where I always do my Instant Pot. And it is ready to come on out. So let me switch on over to this part of my kitchen. For some reason, I always do my Instant Pot over here. Okay, if you haven't done winter squashes in your Instant Pot, it is the easiest, easiest thing. So, I have the whole one just in here. I put a couple, just a couple of slits in it. I added one cup of water and I put it in my Instant Pot on uh, manual for 15 minutes. And um, now I have my entire squash done. It's pretty hot. I should have opened this um, cover a little bit earlier so that I could show you how I take out the strands. Because most people cut the spaghetti squash. Let's see if I can get this out of here without burning myself. I'll get myself a towel. And then my Instant Pot has this lovely handles that don't get hot or anything. And put it down here. Now, most people cut their spaghetti squash um, right in, in this way, and if the long way. But if you cut it the other way, you get really, really long strands. So that's one of the things I'm gonna show you. And then another thing is I always have some frozen broccoli and cauliflower rice in my freezer, because remember I told you my fridge is pretty empty. I'm gonna take um, the strands of spaghetti squash. I'm going to add my cheesy sauce that I'm gonna make in my Vitamix, and I'm gonna add um, lightly steamed broccoli. Anything else am I gonna put in there? I think I have some chicken, shredded chicken in the refrigerator and it be finished up, so I'll make a casserole with some shredded chicken, broccoli, and a spaghetti squash and my cheesy sauce. So, that is what I'm gonna to do today, but I'm gonna show you how I shred the chicken, uh, the spaghetti squash into thick, longer slices. Again, most people cut it lengthwise, and if you do it sideways this way, oh, it feels a little hard, maybe I didn't cook it enough. If that's true, I can just put it back into the Instant Pot. Nope, it's fine, because it's also going to be baked in the oven to my warm it all up. So, I've got the seeds in here. It's a little hot for me to be demonstrating this right now, as you can tell. So I do have a dishcloth here, maybe cool it down. I'm going to scrape out with my ice cream scoop, and watch how easy these all come out. So much easier than taking the seeds out early. And again, that was in my Instant Pot, one cup of water, one medium spaghetti squash, 15 minutes. Now, an Instant Pot does take longer than that because it's a pressure cooker and you seal it and it takes like uh, five to 10 minutes to come up to steam before the 15 minutes starts. And then um, I just let it sit there while I was doing my other food prep. So it probably sat there for another 10 minutes before I opened the lid. Well, I don't need to do both halves. So I'm gonna get a fork. So there's a lot of things. But I hope you can see this. Oops, very hot. But you just shred it and pull it on out. It doesn't look as long as it often does. So I'm kind of not true today. Sometimes they just get a little mushy and they don't shred much, but it'll still taste yummy. But that's the way I do it and I think that will really help you out. And I will show you some finished pictures and some recipes for my cheesy spaghetti squash broccoli casserole with chicken, because that's what I have. You could do it with ground uh, chorizo or anything else in there. All right, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me here. All right. Love to all. Bye.